strange kind of loose head down on the black bike. Well, like our swans and alligators, love our coffee too. Got that feeling come boy, running through our veins. It's our feet dancing with you. Hear that fiddle play. We love to hear that Cajun music down at the Sando door. Dancing with our sweethearts and just letting the good times roll. We know it's God first and then our family and friends. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just a new Louisiana thing. Put a bunch of bait on the trigger. Hey guys, if y'all want to see more on how these traps work in detail, just check out some of my other hog videos. That should get him. We'll be here in the morning. We'll check it out. All right, we're about to pull up to a trap here. Let's see if we got something. I got two done, three left. Let's ice it down. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for following me, subscribing to the channel. I'm getting a lot of comments on the videos. I really appreciate it. Keep doing that. Thank you guys so much. Uh, today we're going to be doing the wild pork boudin. I'm gonna add some domestic pork. If you did just the wild pork, it'd be a little dry. Uh, you'll see I have probably 60 pounds of meat. I have roughly 35, 40 pounds of the wild pork and probably close to 25 pounds of the domestic pork with a lot of fat. I'll show you guys how I make the boudin. Y'all stick with me. All right, we're gonna hit this wild pork. Okay guys, finally got the label finish. It is available online now. Uh, I'll let you guys know when I have it in a few stores locally. Uh, but y'all go check it out, let me know what y'all think. This is what we season in the meat with. Appreciate it guys, thank y'all. It's gotta be some good eating guys. This was young pig right here. It's not gonna take that long to cook.
Okay, now we're gonna do the pour. This is just domestic pour. All right, we got all the meat seasoned. Let's go out there and put it in the pot. This is like a huge crawfish boiling pot, guys. You can do two sacks of crawfish in here at one time. I'm gonna probably come a quarter way up. All right, that should be good. We'll start with that. Okay, we got the water starting to boil. We'll start adding our ingredients to the water. We got a bunch of beef stock and some chicken stock. You know, we got water in there now, but this will add some flavor. We'll go ahead and add all this. Cut a bunch of onions up. Have another bowl full of onions. You can't have too much onions and do that. Some garlic. Put a bunch of celery in here. Bell peppers. We're going to add a little bit of this uh, Savoie's browning salt. We're going to add some garlic, more garlic. Alright, we're ready to add the meat. wild pork big chunks of wild pork we have it on the bone it's going to give it some bone broth too uh, when it's done cooking we're going to cook this probably three or four hours we'll let it cool down we'll have to pick all the bones out and then i'll show you guys how i mix it with the rice and put it in the case and after that Full right there. Once that starts cooking down a little bit, I will add some pork liver. So we're going to cook this down until it gets tender. Uh, whether it be three hours or five hours, uh, we're just going to cook it as long as it takes. Looking good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add, this is about 10 pounds of liver. about 60 pounds of pork in here so let's go ahead the pork liver all right we're a couple hours in let's see what it looks like smell this. There's that liver I added right there. Ooh, it's gonna be good guys. All right, we're gonna check it for seasoning. I may add a little bit of salt. Real good, guys. Yep, 
probably need some salt. more salt. It's a huge pot. I know people can say it's way too much salt. Look at the size of this pot. Alright, we're going to go ahead and cook some rice. I'm going to take the broth from the big pot. We're going to cook the rice with that. It's going to give that rice a darker color and it's going to put flavor in the rice. See the bone separating right here. So it's very tender. We're gonna go ahead and put it in here, let it cool down. Wild pork, it's coming off the bone, guys. chunks of meat just coming off the bone. Great way to make use of these pigs. Look at this, coming right off the bone. Okay, the next step, we're gonna run everything through the grinder. I have a little bit of liver in there. It's gonna, we're gonna mix it all good when we're done. See how the rice came out brown using the stock. I'm gonna load it all up and bring it in. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add some rice to this meat mixture. This was taken out of the pot. This is some of the broth. Okay, it still needs more moisture. We're going to add some more. More liquid. A 
little bit more rice. We want it real moist. We'll taste it for seasoning, then we'll add our onion tops. Let's see how that tastes. We got a little bit more pepper and salt. Okay, we're gonna add more. We're going to add some onion tops. All right, guys, we got two batches ready to put in the casing. Uh, before it's over with, I think I'm gonna have like seven like this. It's gonna be a lot of Buddha. In fact, I ran out of rice. I need to go buy some more rice, cook some more rice, because I have a lot of pork left. Uh, just to explain how I got to this point, I put the rice with the Buddha. I like a lot of meat in my Buddha, so I didn't put a whole bunch of rice in this batch. I put my onion tops in here. I checked it for seasoning. Everything's cooked, so you can taste the seasoning. So I took some broth out of the big pot, added salt, pepper, whatever I thought it needed, and added it to the mixture. Also wanted moist, so I kept adding. I probably put in this one batch, I may have filled up that little pot and scooped it out, probably put four or five in here. I don't want to dry boot in. So I mixed it up real good, got the pepper right, the salt right, just tasted it, it's delicious. Let's put it all in the casing, guys. Here's our first two batches of Buddha ready to go. See the onion tops in there. Got it seasoned just right, a lot of meat in this Buddha. Uh, here's some of the casing that we're using. Here's my stuffer. This is like a 30 pound stuffer. Alright, we're going to take our casing.
We got it wrapped up. We're gonna go ahead and start vacuum sealing it. Also, we're gonna go out and put some on the pit. So y'all stay tuned for that. Good for a couple years right there. Who there? We're gonna put it on the pit. We're gonna try it out, guys. Check it out, guys. Best way to cook boudin, get the skin crunchy. Let's cut it up, see what it looks like. Come All right, on. this is my buddy Alan right here, Picard. He's the man. He's a true Cajun that he'll know if it's good or not. Let's see, Alan. Tell me what you think. Be honest. Ooh. Don't say um before you try it. Damn, that's good. It's not bad, huh? Very good. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think. Very good. It's well seasoned. I'll take you hit a home run. Thank you, sir. Good thing it came out good because I probably got over 100 pounds of it. <laughs> like my buddy Stell Cracker says, put that on a cracker. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. You get me a piece of this and sit down. Oh, that's a lot of work. From trapping the pigs to deboning it, cooking, it's a long process. I'm glad you guys were here. Until next time, we'll see y'all later. Give that skin kind of crunchy like that. Oh my Got your car, you